New Zealand is preparing for the largest energy transition this country has seen in over 100 years. Hydrogen is set to play a key role in this country's energy mix and decarbonisation as we move away from our reliance on fossil fuel. Hydrogen is naturally occurring and energy efficient and emits only water when it is burnt. The cleanest type is classified as green, which is produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen via electrolysis powered by renewable energy. This means that no CO2 is created during production. Where do standards come into this, you might wonder? To enable the safe supply and use of hydrogen across the MOTU, we need to have the right standards and compliance mechanisms in place to ensure safety, interoperability and efficiency. Rather than reinvent the wheel, we can identify and adopt international standards already uh, created by subject matter experts and then make modifications to allow them to work locally. The application of hydrogen cuts across multiple sectors and there are a number of acts and regulations that play an integral role in the value chain. Regulation often uses standards as a benchmark for good practice. For the hydrogen framework, we'll be looking at three stages. Firstly, stationary energy and storage, the built facilities that need to safely contain this potentially volatile fuel. Secondly, how hydrogen will be used across semi-centralised distribution, namely the existing road and rail networks. The third stage concerns decentralised distribution and blending of hydrogen and biomethane into the existing natural gas network. While the focus may be on the energy sector, it's important to be mindful of how our networks and facilities will be built and adapted to store and distribute hydrogen to make it a successful and safe product. Standards can help play a part in scaling and implementing tried and tested technologies and new innovations to ultimately support big impactful change.